Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video we're gonna have a look at how to install the new Windows Server 2016. It is still at technical preview stage so that's fine. We'll update you when we go live or with the next preview. In the meantime, um, basically you start up with the DVD or you can convert the DVD ISO to a USB using the Win7 USB tool on the Microsoft website. Okay, choose a language, okay, choose the keyboard layout, next, okay, install now. It's almost fairly similar to installing Windows 8 or Windows 10. It's only once it's installed a few settings that need to be done, just to make sure it's a nice happy server. Okay, uh, there we go. This is when you want the GUI. Okay, so. Okay, custom install. Choose a disk. Okay, there we go. And you can create the partitions yourself if you want to. New, 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 and then set the sizes and then install to the final partition. It will create a few partitions automatically that basically are required for Windows. There we go, and as you can see, it's created the recovery partition, the system partition, another reserve partition, and this is basically where it's gonna install it. Okay, so click next. And now, all we need to do is just wait for that to just finish that, finish that, finish that, finish that, finish that, and then we should get back to you. Okay, so after the restart, we then basically come to this screen, okay, where you give it a password, okay, we'll give it a very simple one in this case, okay, test 001, test 001, okay. It's just a demo over here, so that's why. Okay, we would obviously advise you to use a proper password that's about 10 characters in length and has symbols, digits, and upper and lower case characters. Okay, and then it comes to the screen. Okay. And once it's set up, we're using it in Hyper-V, so it's half a screen, um, basically a virtual machine. Um, obviously, if you're installing it to live hardware, obviously you would then basically start installing the drivers for the graphics card, etc., etc. Okay, and once it's logged in and starts up, basically this is exactly how it looks like. Um, it looks fairly similar to Windows 10. And it just starts up with the server manager dashboard, you know. And then from this point onwards, you would basically configure your server, maybe give it a static IP address, etc. Add active domain services or DNS, DHCP, etc., etc. What you need to set up with it. Um, you have this over here, and then that's there. These are all the apps that come with it. Okay. It's a nice kind of like um, Windows 10 feel to it, you know, the settings. It's got the same thing. So hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.